Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. Today we will discuss about how to save variance data into transport request. First of all, let's understand what is variate. For example, the variant is that, so I am opening one T code now, V.02. This is a V.02 report. T code. I am going to create one variant now. Something I am giving here. So I want to save these changes into a one variant now. Click on save. I am giving the name as test one. Option also test one. Now click on save. Okay. I saved this variant now. Now I will log out and log in. Now I'm going to V.02. Okay, so this time what I can do, I can uh, display the variant that I have created now. I can go this, I can't get variant. And you see, I have created the test one. Double click here. If you double click that, it will display the changes that has been saved inside that variant only. So no need to enter this uh, data again and again whenever we access this v.02 report or t code. But the problem, the challenge here is that when we save the variant, it is not asking for any transport to capture those changes. Okay. So today we will discuss about how can we or how many ways are available to transport variant changes into DR transport request so there are three ways are there first is to by using the code the ca 38 second is by using the code sc 38 and third is by using the report rs trans p r a n s p Let's see one by one. Okay, for example, I'm going to capture this V.02 S21 variant into TR. So to do that, first we should know the program for this V.02 report. So there are two ways we can get the program. One is go to system. And you see this is the program. This is the T code and this is the program for this one. One more way is to, there is one database table available, PSTC. And if you give v.02 and execute, it has to display program here, but here we don't see the program. But if I give other T code like PA01 and execute, you see, the program for this one is SAPME 45A. So basically, these are the two ways. One is TSTC TC table, and the way is that by using the status, system status. So let me do it one more time. So v.02 system status and get the program here. So it's good, good to know about the database table, which will be holding the T code along with program details okay table is tstc okay let's go with the first method using sca 38 let's see how how we can transport the changes so let me go to sca 38 and i give the program this is the program for v.02 okay now click on this overview with variants so here we can see the list of variants test test one or something like this right so we're going to capture test one only so first what we will do enter the program here and uh, go to the documents and uh, go to uh, in the menu click on go to then click on variants 
okay so let me tell you one more time sca38 give the program name go to the menu click go to and then click on variants so here we need to this the program is coming automatically so give the variant here the variant is test one enter this one here and then next step is to go to utilities and transport request again we can need to enter the variant here test one and execute it will ask for continue yeah it's asking for tr now right so let me save this so required entries were included in the tr this is one way second way is to use the t code se38 put se38 again give the same program and execute okay not like this so in se38 there is an option called variance you see variance here right program name by default source code will be highlighted but just select the variance now then click on display simple thing again again go to utilities transport request give that uh, parent name and execute click continue same same thing happens again so this window is same so this window is same in case of se38 and sa38 let uh, let's do that one more time in sa38 yeah go to variants yeah see both are same screen right in sc38 se38 we should select the radio button variants then only we will get this window in sa38 in the menu go to variants then we will get this window after that go to utilities and transport the request same thing here also the last way is to using the report there is a channel report available that is rs transp so for that let's go to sc38 enter this uh, program rs transp enter this one and execute again same screen displays here enter the program name program name is rv au e f e double r and variant name is test1 and if execute again same thing will be stored into the variant so this is how we should transport the variant changes from development to quality and quality to production hope this video will be very helpful we'll meet in the next video thanks everyone